guys, Kelly here, and today I want to share with you my February TBR. And so I have not always been super successful with my TBRs, like creating them ahead of time because I am a mood reader. But last month in January, I did really good. I had eight books on my TBR and I read six of those eight books. In total, I read 15 books, but out of the ones I said I was going to read, I read the majority. And the only reason I didn't read the other two was because at the end of the month, I suddenly decided to join a nonfiction readathon and they weren't on fiction. So I felt like I did a good job so I figured I would go ahead and create a TBR for February. The problem is that this one is much bigger because I am hoping to do some readathons so we'll see if I can follow this. Um, so I'm going to do these kind of by the categories so I'll get to the readathons later and then I have some other ones I want to get to. So first is that since February is Black History Month I looked through the books on my shelf. Um, by the way all of these books pretty much I own because I would really like to be reading books off my shelf. I think I have a, I have two that I'm getting from the library and that's it out of all these. But anyways, I wanted to read some books that I own that were by black authors. And so I picked up, I'm going to read at least two of these three books this month. Um, I'll just kind of pick which ones and I might end up reading all three. So the first one is Kindred by Octavia Butler. And when I looked this up on Goodreads, it actually is described as the first science fiction book written by uh, African-American author so if that's true that's great for Black History Month that I will be reading the first one and this take this is about a woman who in current day and I think the current day is the 70s maybe in this and she is transported back in time to when there is slavery in the south and she keeps going back and forth between the two timelines the next one is Benti and I don't know how to say this author's name, I apologize. I'll look it up before I do my wrap up. Um, this is part of a trilogy, I believe. They're really short novellas, so I'll definitely get to this. And this is a science fiction. And all I know about this is it's about a woman who is like the, the first of her um, tribe or group or people that get to go to space in order to study. And then the last one is Homegoing Home by Yae Gyasi. And this one was really popular when it came out, I think a year or two ago. And it is a multi-generational story that I believe starts in Ghana and goes to America and, and all over the place with these different generations of two sisters. So I'm excited to get to at least two out of the three of those books. And then I have some buddy reads that I am doing in February. Um, the first two were library books, so I'll show you a picture. And the first one is The Winter's Crime by Marie Rakowski. And this one is a, the second one in the Winner's Trilogy. I just finished Winner's Curse last month and did it as part of a buddy read. And the same woman, she and I decided that we're going to continue with the series. So I actually have already started this. I think I'm about 100 pages or so in. So this one will be a really quick beginning of February read. And the next one is The Bear and the Nightingale by Katherine Arden. I still need to pick up my copy from the library even though it's supposed to start today on the buddy read. And this is a fantasy that takes place in Russia and I believe it relies on Russian folklore and different spirits and things like that. I didn't really look into it a lot because I knew I was planning on reading it for this buddy read so I'll get that today. And then the next buddy read is The Well of Ascension by Raymond Sanderson. This is the second in the Mistborn trilogy. I just finished The Final Emperor Empire like three days ago and loved it. And my buddy read group decided that we were going to continue on. So we will be starting that in a few days. And then the last buddy read is The Sign of F the Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is the second book in the Sherlock Holmes mysteries. And I'm reading this with Charlie from Charlie Trough, a reader turned writer. Um, she is not currently doing her YouTube channel, but you could, I'll, I'll, put, I'll link her Goodreads down below since she's kind of taken a pause on her, um, her YouTube channel and if you want to check her out. And so we're going to be reading that together. And then the next couple are just books that I really wanted to get to soon. One of them is that I've been trying this year or it's only the second month, but <laughs> I did it last month and I want to keep doing it. It's reading a book that I had bought at least like a year ago to this date. So in January, I read one that I bought last January. And so this is a book that I bought last February and that is The Green Mile by Stephen King. So I want to get to this. I've heard that, that since this isn't really like a horror, that this is a really excellent book to start in on if you are not really into horror. 
and and I have seen the movie like a long time ago back when it first came out so I'm excited to try that and the other one is Duel of Fire by Jordan Rivet this is a self-published author and she had this is a five book series that is about a woman who is a duelist who you know duels with swords and I, everybody I know that has read this has said it's excellent so I'm excited to start this and since it's fairly short I think I can get it in in February so now to my readathons. The first readathon is just a one book thing, and that is Alex Black is doing a rereadathon for the whole year. And so every month she has different prompts to help you like choose your book to reread. And this month the prompt is to read an underrated book. And so I kind of went on the books that I have on my want to reread list and seen which one has the least ratings or is reviewed the lowest. And this one kind of had both of that. And that was Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by Gregory Maguire. I read this probably when it first came out. So would that be like, I don't know, at least 10 years ago. Cause I feel like it would have been late nineties or something like that. 99. So I probably, gosh, that's like, 20 years ago. So I probably didn't read that long ago. It might have been like 15 years ago that I read this and I remember liking it and it being my favorite Gregory Maguire book, but I don't really remember much about it. So I want to give it another try and it is like one of the ones that has the lowest ratings and is reviewed kind of low, given low ratings in terms of the five star scale. So that one I want to read for Alex Black's Rereadathon. And then the next readathon I want to do is the Contemporary Athon, which is hosted by several people. I found out about it from Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads and Natasha from My Reading is Odd. I think there's a couple more um, hosts, but I'd, I'll link them down below in their channels in the description. And so there are some prompts for this, and I'm combining some of them because there's seven prompts, and I'm going to read four books. So the first one is your most recent buy, and so I'm going to read. A Book of American Martyrs, which is a story about two families that are kind of connected through a bombing of an abortion clinic. So it's told from the story of the like person who did the killing, or it might not have been a bombing, it might have been a shooting. But anyways, it's done from the person that did the killing and from the family of those that were affected by the killing. So I think from the victim's family. And so I'm going to use this as my most recent purchase and also for a dark emotional hard hitting since it does have a it talks about abortion and that is a hot topic right now and then I also think I'm going to do it as a non-traditional format because I accidentally bought the large print version of this and it is a brick and is really heavy and so I saw that Scribd has it as an ebook so I think I'm going to read this the ebook version even though I own the book because it's kind of a ridiculously large and heavy book and I just don't think I can read it from that version. And then the next prompt was one with Blurple on the cover. And so I picked This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. And this is just a fun romantic contemporary, I believe. And it definitely has like blue and purple on the cover. And let's see, the next one is a diverse read. And I'm also using this for another one, so I'll tell you that. And this is My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall. And this is about two brothers who, um, become orphaned. I don't know if their parents died and or they left. I'm not sure, but they are now needing to get in the foster care or adoption system. And the one brother is light skinned and gets adopted and the other brother is dark skinned and doesn't. So he ends up going in the foster care system and it follows the two brothers, I believe. And so I figured this will be a good one for our diverse read. And also it's going to fit on one with a picture on the spine because it's got these pretty flowers on the spine. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. Since I'm an adoptive mom, I like to read books about kids that have been through adoption or through the foster care system. So even though they can be hard for me to read, I think that they're important stories to um, read and, and learn about. And then I think the last one is a book that you meant to read and meant to read in 2018. And for that, I'm going to read When We Collided by Emery Lord. I actually started this one in 2018, back in November, got about 40% through and then put it down because I was doing other buddy reads and just never picked it back up. So I don't remember enough that I might skim the beginning part and then finish it. And so since I had started it, I meant to read it in 2018. So I really need to finish it. So I don't have to like completely reread the whole thing, just kind of like skim through a couple chapters. And so then my next readathon is the Thriller-a-thon, which is hosted by Harriet Rosie, and I'll link her channel down below. 
and it's basically just spending a week reading thrillers and I love thrillers and this gets me to read some ones that I might be have been putting off or whatever and so she has six prompts I'm also combining them in order to read four books for that um, readathon and the first one is your most anticipated and for that one I am choosing the last one by Alexandra Olivia this one I've just been really needing to get to because it sounds so interesting it's kind of a seems like a mix of thriller and maybe sci-fi because it is about a girl who decides to join a um, reality TV show where she gets put out in the woods and has to survive and all that but then she finds out that things are happening in the real world that are separate from the show when she returns so it sounds like there is actually an apocalypse happening in the real world at the time that she has been out in the woods so that sounds really interesting as a thriller so I am really anticipating getting to that and the next one is the one that's been on your TBR the longest and I am going to go with actually I have two that could work because I have two that have been on there for a while but I'm gonna go with this one which is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn I've had this for a year and I've just been meaning to get to it because it's, it's like the last of her novels that I need to do um, and I don't know much about the, the the topic because I figure I liked her other two I'll just pick it up and read it she's a popular author so this will also be TBR the longest and um, revisit a book or an author is another prompt and since I read two of her other books it'll be me revisiting her work the next one is for the TV the the book you just recently added to your TBR and I'm going with confessions by Kanai Minato sorry if I butchered her name and this is a Japanese translated work I believe I don't know if it was translated or if she's Japanese American I'll have to look that up before my wrap-up but um, it is about a teacher whose daughter has been killed by her classmates and so she goes in and basically is threatening the classmates is what I believe it's about and so I just recently added that one and then the next one is a book with the best cover and I'm combining that with a book that was recommended by someone so I'm combining those two prompts in Woman in the Water by Charles Finch this is a prequel to a series I read called the Charles Lennox Mysteries and my mom read this first and then gave me the book so it's recommended by my mother she said it was really good and also I think this cover is really pretty this is actually more of a mystery than a thriller but Harriet doesn't care you can read thrillers mysteries crime whatever and that one has also been on my TBR for at least a year so I really want to get to it and yeah so those are all of the books I plan on reading in January or February and I know it's a short month and that is a lot of books to have in the TBR but I figured since I have those readathons to do that I'll try to get to almost every one of these hopefully we'll see and that's all for me let me know what you're reading in February or if you're participating in those readathons all right bye